SC and Poison. And Cooks will just let this one fall by the wayside, and that's how things will start at the 25-yard line. So right now, you're sort of thinking Poison's got to be the favorite in this one. Yeah, Poison is certainly, I would say, is the favorite in this matchup. He, he comes in, he, he's been playing competitive man for a couple years now, 25 years of age. Uh, he plays a lot against guys uh, in the community, uh, and he feels though he has an edge. He, he understands that, uh, you know, uh, Scheman and, and Monster are the favorites, but he understands that he also has a good chance to win today, too. So Poison will start with the ball, first and 10 from the 25. And Russell Wilson with a quick out to Cumberland. And that'll pick up nine, second and one. Good first play of the game. Yeah, in, in Poison, the staple of his offense, he says he likes to stay in this single back deuce close. Uh, he feels it gives him a lot of options to run the ball, to pass downfield. Very similar style offense, actually, to what we saw in last game, the jumbo heavy. You know, a little difference is here and there, but uh, uh, same type of personnel on the field. And I think this is why you got Reese on your roster, right? He's a guy that can really pick up those short yards. Big back, normally playing fullback. But they're getting snuggy here on second and one. They'll go to the air. Finds a wide open Larry Fitzgerald. Some of the best hands in the game. Yeah, great route runner. Also great over the middle of the field, as you can see right there. Larry Fitzgerald off to a fast start, and so is Poison. And another thing you get with Larry Fitzgerald is incredible run block. So first and 10 from the 43. Reese has some room on the edge. You won't see a lot of speed, but he's able to pick up 12 yards. As you said, the big body back falls forward. That's the type of back that you want to have in that 17, falls forward for those few extra yards. That's a signature Reese. Ball at the 31, first and 10. SC will go back to the big fella, and he'll fall forward to the 26. Yeah, he's, he's running a very balanced offense right now. Uh, he's going to stay in this single back deuce close. Uh, he, he's in that Tennessee Titans offensive playbook. He'll, he'll come out. Uh, another formation right here is this gun-tight flex uh, to get more offensive uh, receivers on the field opposed to some of those tight ends from that deuce close. Uh, so Poison really showing uh, a lot of, of availability here in his playbook. A lot of great plays, a lot of great formations. So second and four. Game number three here in the Madden Club Championship Series. And almost threw a pick. It was in the hands of Williams. Yeah, and you're seeing right here, SC getting a little swagger action going on. He's going to stay in this 3-4 bear style defense, a bear front right here. Take a look at the replay. Had the user pick, but his D-tackle dropped the ball. That's going to happen, but time to time, bare front. Look at that lineman over the middle of the field. You have the guards in the center both eaten up by big defensive line and make it really difficult to run the interior. Yeah, Jordan Williams, just a 59 overall bronze player. Big time drop, and that's going to bring up fourth and four after the overthrow, and you got to take three. Yeah, well, listen, that's Brandon Cooks he's trying to high point to. We've, we've seen this in the community as a, as a talking point of uh, overthrowing Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks. Listen, you get the ball up to him in a, at a high spot. Yes, he's fast. Yes, he's quick over the middle of the field. But if you try to get the ball to him up high, that's not his game, right? That's where you can see those overthrows occur. So uh, you've got to watch your personnel there if you're poisoned. It's really those 6'3", 6'4", and up guys that really have a lot of success in those high point passes. So three to nothing. And SC will have an opportunity at the 19-yard line. After the big hit on the kickoff, just trailing by three. And I think when you give up three in Madden, that's a successful defensive stop. No, it's absolutely a success. You want to try, your goal is obviously to, uh, to not allow any points, but if you can let up a field goal, that's one possession, you're closer to sending your opponent home. You can't give up touchdowns on a, on a regular basis. Watch, watch a slap, watch a slap. So ball at the 19, Michael Vick experience coming your way. Play action. The lefty will roll to the right and give it to McCaffrey and the former Denver Bronco picks up the first down. Yeah, and, and, and as he likes to stay uh, in that gun snugs formation, he said that when he feels like he has to uh, go to a formation to start picking up pressure, he'll go into a gun trip set. And the reason for it is he has a tight end on one side of the field and a halfback on the other side of the field. He feels like pressure is coming from either side. He'll block one of those players, add them into his pass protection scheme. You see right here, Jimmy Graham on the right, Marcel Reese on the left. 
Those players, if there's pressure off the right edge, he'll block Jimmy Graham to pick up the blitz. We got a cool possible moment in Madden 18. You could have Christian and Ed McCaffrey both on one team in salary cap. That'd be pretty cool. And Vic Beautiful. finds Reese. And that's what you find, the, the, the scramble and then the playmaker. I mean, I mean, that is just Shades Madden 04 right there. Just roll out the pocket. You just playmaker upfield with, uh, with Marcel Reese and Mike Vick stretching the field with his legs, making plays for SC's offense. So rocking and rolling is our man from San Antonio, Texas. You ever been to San Antonio? A little river walk action? I have. Alamo a lot smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> I feel like people think, like, that's like kind of what people say, though. So first and 10. You go for the chimichangas, man. You're not, you're not going for the Alamo. 40-yard line. Vic, what a pass to Jimmy Graham. And he's inside the red zone. Yeah, great heat off that right edge, but better offense right there. The single back ace pair chief, you can see right here, quick pass, pressure off that edge. But Vic, he has a trait, a special trait in Ultimate Team called Gunslinger. Allows him to get the ball out quicker than most other quarterbacks, and he needs it there to get that throw off for the completion. I just call it the Brett Favre trait. The Brett Favre trait. First and 10. He's out here in the backyard slinging the pill around. And Reese will find the end zone. Hello, SC. Welcome to Santa Clara. I'll tell you what, the Mike Vick factor is really starting to, to pay off here. You can see he's, he scrambles out the pocket really quick and then he gets the ball up so fast, it's hard for your user defender to get in position to make a play. That's some of the things that people talk about, what's so effective about that gunslinger trait, the Brett Favre trait. Uh, but <laughs> Vick, looking good on that first possession for SC. Extra point is up and it's good. So stops him to a field goal and then he comes down and really a methodical drive. 139 to go in the first. And now Poison, your guy, is gonna have to answer. My guy, he's usually the kiss of death, I think. That's <laughs> a lot of people say when I pick somebody. Listen, I didn't pick it's him. It's not I as bad as Rico. <laughs> and I hope, I hope Rico's out there watching. Rico's rock solid picks. <laughs> rock team. <laughs> so first and 10. And Reese cannot win the battle. And he'll lose a yard second and 11. Yeah, second and 11 right now. He, you know, Poison, get back into the, the same formation. He ran the ball, or passed the ball extremely well out of this set in, on his first possession to get himself into field goal range. Looking to run the ball a little bit here on this drive. Second and 11. At the 24, Wilson, quick pass to Dallas Clark. And there's that, that Dallas Clark. He's great out of that backfield. You, you, you stack him up off that right edge. Quick little ins, outs. That's where you're going to see him most effective. He runs crisp patterns, gets in and out of his break really quickly, allows him to separate from zone defenders, allows him to separate from man defenders better than you're going to see other receiving tight ends. 49er fans used to seeing a tight end with the name Clark, but it's Dwight Clark and not Dallas Clark. And a good job there bringing up fourth and four. And now Poison really feeling the heat. Yeah, good pressure. That was all coverage defense. We've got a block shed inside. For those of you new at home, what is a block shed? It's when a one-on-one -on -one matchup with offensive linemen and a defensive player, they get engaged, and then the defender separates from that offensive lineman and then puts pressure on the quarterback. We'll be saying that term quite a bit here today. So a little Madden one-on-one for you. So fourth and four. Biggest play of the game thus far for Poison. Play clock running down. And he might burn a timeout, and he will. Didn't like his play call, that's okay. You can't take these timeouts with you. So big fourth and four. He's got Russell Wilson. He needs to try to get him on the edge. Stretch the, stretch the defense uh, horizontally here with the, the speed of mobility of Russell. A little run pass option might be what the doctor ordered on fourth and four. Yeah, watch out for pressure off that right edge. He's not blocking anybody, so he's going to have to get the ball out quick. Definitely lined up for pressure off that right edge. We're snugged up here on fourth and four. Wilson up under center. Drops back, looks, quick throw, and it was read the whole way by SC. Yeah, and what I'm curious about right there, we saw him keep a tight end off the left side of the field and, and he slid left. I think he was trying to figure out the pass protection on that play. I, I, I think right there he saw, obviously, pressure was coming right, but he was trying to identify how am I going to pick this up. So we'll see as the game goes on what adjustments he makes there to try and pick some of that right edge pressure up. And I want to know what playlist SC's listening to, because right now, 
She's in the groove, but Telvin Smith coming up with a big five-yard sack. Yeah, there's Telvin Smith. We talked about at the top of the broadcast here how important he would be to that defense for him. He comes up with a big play there. Gets into a tough second and long spot. Right here in these situations, though, Scott, you want to look for about a six, seven-yard gain to get to a manageable third down. Second and 15, clock running down here in the first. Good play. Finds Jackson and Michael Vick, perfect five for five. Yeah, and, and what you're seeing is, is the classic Mike Vick factor. He's able to stretch plays even longer right here. You can see roll out of the pocket. He sets his feet, finds a receiver streaking from right to left on the field, uh, and he gets the first down. This is classic. This is Mike Vick 101, how you win games with him. Uh, and we're seeing the mobility factor is a huge uh, a strategy here in this tournament today. Deshaun Jackson, team of the week. Coming up with a big first down. So we'll start the second quarter. SC with a four point lead. Looking to make it a two score game. Vic, been perfect thus far and he'll throw it away. Yeah, good, good decision there. You don't want to take a sack there. Get uh, potentially knocked out of field goal range there. So good decision. But Mike Vic is, has been looking tough right now. Scrambling left, scrambling right, getting plays, getting the ball out quickly. Uh, at some point, you got to start questioning poison. Does he start containing his defensive lineman? What that means is, rather than have your defensive lineman, Scott, play a, uh, a bookend, like get after the quarterback role, they kind of play a mush rush, and they're, they're going to get out wide and not let Vic get outside the pocket. Second and 10 from the 16, Vic. Sailed it. Was looking for Jimmy Graham, and probably just as so throwing it out of the back of the end zone. Yeah, Vic's got all that speed, but just like Tyrod Taylor, as we said earlier, he, he will, time to uh, time from time, he will throw the ball away like that. Uh, kind of the gift and curse, right, uh, that you have of uh, some of these uh, mobile quarterbacks. So third and 10 from the 16. Two wide receivers to the left. Keeps a man in the block. And he'll check it down to Reese, and Reese couldn't get the rack catch and turn it upfield. Yeah, that was tough. He got the ball out to him a little bit late. That's where you see he catches the ball, runs out of bound, but still in a failed goal uh, situation. Be able to make this a uh, full touchdown uh, lead in this game. So this will try to make the lead seven. 33-yard field goal is up, and it is good. But if you're poison right now, that's what you needed. Yeah, you got to air the ball out. He, right, he's staying in that single back deuce close. He's staying under center in that compressed formation. Not really, uh, his offense really hasn't gotten off to the fast start that he thought it would. I'd like to see him now, okay, does he go into a little more pass-oriented style offense? He has one of the better formations in the game to uh, attack with your uh, passing offense in the gun-tight flex. See if he opens up the offense a little bit here. So he'll start the drive at the 21-yard line, trailing by a touchdown. Poison really needs to tie this thing up. Yeah, it'll be important for him here to put together a drive. His first two drives, he, he stalled a little bit, right? He didn't convert on the fourth down. A couple uh, mistakes uh, with some usual plays over the middle of the field. Uh, Aaron throws. Let's we'll see if he can put together a drive, though. Has a man. It's Fitzgerald and Deion Sanders in there to swat it away. Yeah, Deion one-on-one -on -one right there. That's why you get him on your roster going up against Larry Fitzgerald. Gerald, big body receiver, but doesn't have the speed to separate from a guy like Deion Sanders. Well, if he could have just led him a little bit more, would have been a big play. Second and 10. Bringing some safeties down in the box. Throws it, finds Cooks. And that'll put it to the 39-yard line, DRC on the tackle. Yeah, that deep corner pattern is a, is a great uh, way to attack this Bear defense. The Bear defense, Scott, has a lot more defenders near the line of scrimmage, and you can see there's only one high safety in this alignment. So attacking the corners is a great spot to, to go on the field. There is Cumberland. He'll push out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Well, he's starting to put together some nice plays here. He's starting to get some short conversions, some deep passes. Again, he might start to become one-dimensional. He hasn't really been able to run effectively uh, from this formation. And, and, I, and I think the pressure off that right edge is really starting to cause him issues. Wilson, quick throw, goes back to the tight end, and that'll move the chains with 3.45 to go. Yeah, and Cumberland starting to step up, make big plays right here. Quick little out patterns. You can see how effective those are. Really hard for linebackers 
uh, to, to stay on the cut when, when they break outside towards that sideline. That's where you see a lot of these uh, competitive players like to use the tight ends. Back up under center on first and 10. Wilson looks, has a man, Fitzgerald. And Larry pulls it in at the 26. Yeah, he's starting to get, get into a groove here. He's starting to put together some, again, those big plays. It's all starting with attacking underneath. You can see how when you attack underneath and force your opponent to protect the short part of the field, it opens up the deep part of the field. And that's what we're seeing here from Poison right now. He'll hand it off to Reese on first and 10. And he'll lose a yard. Both players locked in in this one. Just like last game, we had a great game. This one's starting to shape up to be a great game as well. So second and 11, 2.49 to go in the half. Poison with the ball trailing by a touchdown. 14, 14. Watch Clark here, there's only one defender. You get Clark matched up one-on-one -on, -one on the right edge. Wilson. Overthrows, had Reese on the check down. Yeah, and no, another, another feature for Madden 17 that you might not be aware about for some of those at home is when you have a defender that's closing on the quarterback, it, it will literally force extra air and throws. It's, it's called putting them under pressure, literally, right? It, and if you have a defender that's closing in on the quarterback, that's where you see the overthrow right there from Russell Wilson. So third and 11, just outside the red zone is Poison. Reese will move in motion. Wilson looking. Forced it. Threw a Forced pick. It. Forced it. Right there, listen, he, he, he went to the corner pattern, but here's the issue. He didn't have an underneath pattern under, uh, underneath that. You can see here, the buzz zone the, uh, plays a, a, a short part of the field on that left edge, and there's no room to throw that ball. That was a forced throw right there by Poison. The former UCLA Bruin, Miles Jack, comes up with a big interception, and that took points off the board. That's what's tough right there, right? You're already in field goal range. You're feeling confident, okay, I can, okay, maybe I'll get into a, a touchdown here, tie this game, but you're already thinking, okay, I can get some points on this drive. That's a costly turnover right there for some poison. Blue for Blue for so two minute warning, ball at the 15, second and nine. And you want to get some points here. If you can make it a two-score game, big. but you got to be careful. It's big right here. And listen, he's been moving the ball very well uh, offensively, been able to pick up some of the blitzes. The Vic has really been the difference in this one, though. Poison needs to start preventing Vic from getting outside the pocket. But look at there's no, there's so much room off that left edge. He's going to be able to scramble out off this left edge and look to make a play uh, with playmaker uh, with crossing patterns. There's no way for him to contain off that left edge. Here it is again. Vic rolling out, got man-to-man -man coverage, and Deshaun Jackson pulls it in at the 41-yard line. Yeah, and, and that's what you're gonna see here. Time and time again, you, you can't let Vic get out of the pocket. You're not having extra defenders off that left side. It's allowing Vic in that mobility to stretch the defense. You have crossing patterns that go deep down the field, and that's where you're seeing wide open plays uh, for SC right now. Yeah, with 140 on the clock, you might as well give up the underneath stuff. That cover two, you need that linebacker in the middle. So 90 seconds to go in the half. Vic, gonna go into the shotgun now. The play clock running down, and they'll go to an inside zone, and he'll pick up two. Yeah, so what I want to point out here, and what we're seeing is, Poison is setting up one side of the field to send pressure off an edge, and, and he's not containing the back side or, or the strong side. So what you're seeing uh, is SC, he's, Diagnosing that and then he rolls out to the opposite side. So right here. This is a good formation now now It's not because now he knows pressures left. He can scramble right here. It is no He's gonna go a little bit left after coverage defense as Y open and it's McCaffrey pulls it in at the 28 In field goal range now Gibbs yeah, and so what happens if you play that dollar defense right here look no pressure there's no pressure, so he's able to scramble out the pocket a little bit. Not even scramble, there's a little baby steps out the pocket and find the open receiver downfield. You need to not allow Vic to get outside the pocket. So if he doesn't blitz those slot corners, he's able to stay in the, uh, stay scramble either direction, and that's what's opening up the big plays. Michael Vic, eight of 10 in this one. And it's a gamble. I mean, it's 109 salary cap it's to have Vic. It's a huge gamble. It, I mean, 
when you put Vic on your roster, you're ultimately taking one other starter off your field. So it is a, a, a ginormous amount of resources on your roster and your quarterback. Play action to Reese. Gets rid of it, has McCaffrey. And they'll touch him down at the four yard line. And they'll use a timeout with 31 ticks to go in the half. Yeah, and when he gets into the red zone here, he likes going into this ace pair chief. He has a corner pattern that he likes to smart route. Uh, that's going to shorten the, the, the stem of the route, and he looks to high point it in his end zone here. So that's what we're going to be looking for in this situation. Jalen Ramsey, that's your man. That's your guy right there. There you go. So leading by a touchdown, has Let's the ball on the four. I like, I like the run call here. Mainly get the clock going a little bit more so you, you don't give any time to Poison. He's going to have to use his last time out. That really will ultimately close the half here. We talked about before how important it is to play these end, end of, uh, half situations uh, properly because it's what is the mark of a champion. This is how you win games is in these defining moments of a, of a half or at the end of a game. And right there, very headsy play call. Make Poison use that last time out. Now put points on the scoreboard. Yeah, field goal will make it a two-score game, but trying to get in the end zone. Breaks two tackles. And Reese is breaking the defense to pieces. He a big truck guy. That, I mean, that's one tackle, two tackle, three tackles. Marcel Reese rumbling, stumbling in the end zone. Very underrated, but you did say, you were telling me, you said, Reese, the big truck. You know, he's going to save you some value on your roster. You're saying the, the top of the broadcast. Yeah, his signature series, Reese. Breaks one, breaks two. Not tree. Not tree. <laughs> So we got a 17 to three game all of a sudden. Poison was going down to put points on the board, got picked by Miles Jack. And now SC with a two score lead. Poison's got 18 seconds with zero timeouts. Yeah, no timeouts. Ball in the 34, you're, you're down two full touchdowns. You kind of just, you can't turn it over here. You can't fumble because you're going to get in the field goal. Just play this possession smart here with no timeouts. That's the difficult part about it. See if he goes to Fitzgerald on the outside. He rat catches it, needs to get out of bounds. Clock is moving, 10 seconds now. Good job by Dion making that tackle in bounds. We can have one play left in the half. Yeah, one shot here. Got to get the playoff. Clock expires, looking to the end zone. Got to let it go. And it's picked off Odell. by OBJ. We talked about it. Yeah. Could he make an impact? And he does. Out of position, Odell Beckham. We are playing Madden Ultimate Team. Saturday. It was a one-handed catch, too. Yes, it was a, It was the Odell animation, everyone's favorite. <laughs> no, but it, out of position, Odell Beckham, how he's on that roster is you're able to put uh, guys all over the field, different type of players, different version of players. At one time, Odell played back in the second area, probably end of a fourth quarter game, blowout game. Get him back there. Down at LSU. Play. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Check it. That's definitely the Odell. One-handed OBJ in the half. Odell doing the Odell. And then styling. Sure, why not? <laughs> a little bit of swag at the end of the half there. And so SC's got the lead, and he's got the ball to start half number two. That's a good thing for him. Bad if you are poison right now. But look at, look at, right edge. Completely able to scramble out the left edge. All the room in the world. Look, no pressure. Vic. Finds yeah. open receivers. Checks it down as Reese. And he'll move to the 40-yard line. Vic now 10 of 12. Yeah, and I, I think part of it is because he, he's sticking to a three-down line. So when you're in a three-down line, you have to now blitz slot resources in order to get that containment off the edge. So he needs to blitz both those slot defenders to contain Vic because with the three-down line, you're not going to get the job done there. Jimmy Graham will put his hand in the dirt here on first and 10. A little motion across the formation. And Vic will hand it off to Reese. And yeah, he's going to fall down to the 47-yard line. I'm really impressed with the way Reese has been playing so far. I and mean, he's been able to be effective out of the backfield as a receiver. He's been able to uh, fall forward for extra yards. Uh, he, he seems to like a really nice option in uh, salary cap. And both of these guys with Reese on their teams, but SC using them a bit more efficiently. And that'll pick up the first down, and he'll carry a man on his back to the 45-yard line. Yeah, a little ball control right here from SC, starting to realize, yeah, okay, I'm up by 14, up by two full scores here. Start to run the ball, milk some clock here early in this third quarter. This is the third game of the first round. We got Schemen and GGG Niner, the local hero here, come nearby San Jose. Those guys are due up next. It'll be a good matchup right there, the number two seed Schemen. Most recently will be competing in the Madden Challenge taking place in Burbank, California in about two weeks. 
So scheme and ride a lot of momentum heading into that one. Pretty efficient here, balance offense, eight runs, 12 passes. He's a lot of different formations and plays as well, right? I mean, he's really mixing it up. Play action, look at scramble, no containment. And throws across his body, and even Tyreek Hill can't catch up with that. Not even Vic can make that throw. I mean, <laughs> Vic in 04, 05, yeah, he probably would have made that throw, but not Madden 17. Throw off your back foot like that, you're gonna sail it. So to come to third and nine, Big play. Poison needs a stop or a turnover to get back in this one. Ball at the 43. I like this. Look at this. He's got two outside linebackers. He can now play containment if he rushes. No, he's going to roll coverage off one side. Vic squeezing it into Reese. It's a tough spot. Long field goal. 57 yards from there, and I think he'll go for it. I mean, that's a smart choice. His field goal kicker, he must not have confidence in making the 57-yarder. Really? Yeah, who is uh, it? Guskowski. Oh. In your face. Oh, I, hey, that's a good read right there. <laughs> Scott, you knew that and you didn't tell me? <laughs> Fourth and six. Guskowski could probably make it from there. With a higher percentage is to go for it. And Vic finds a wide open Jimmy Graham who gets tripped up at the 13-yard line. Yeah, and right there you can see he changed up his defensive play call. He went to a cover six, wide open, pop pass, middle of the field, high point, Jimmy Graham, six foot six. Great receiver to target right there. He hasn't really gone to that play, uh, a seam pass like that, so why guard it if you're poisoned? So good, uh, good strategy so far right there on this drive for SC. So first and 10 from the 13-yard line. Vic in the gun. And they'll go back to Reese, and Reese will not make it back to the line of scrimmage. Worth noting, though, most of these salary cap teams don't have a great kicker. Right, and that's where you're going to save. That's where you're going to save cap, but uh, it, it, that can be detrimental to what you That could also be the player that wins you the game. Right, because you do, in a lot of these games, you get down into a situation where, you know, I need 5, 10 yards to get field goal range, but if you have a great kicker, you can boot it from a mile away. A little toss to the outside. Paulson gets a block. But Reese, once again, losing yardage. And if you're, if you're poisoned here, you got to be careful. He's already, at this point, close to four minutes in this drive right here for SC, opening up the second half. And he's looking like he's going to put more points on the scoreboard, make this a three-possession game. Starting to run out of time here. This is where you need a big hit stick, but the high carry value of Reese is another reason you love that signature item. There's Vic again, you see the problems he causes. Oh my, the Michael Vick experience in SC is now up three scores. You know, and, and we see it all the time in Madden. We see a certain style of play that the competitors will use in, in its coverage, coverage, coverage blitz. And what we're seeing here from Poison is he's playing off coverage. Uh, and he, again, he's not containing Vic. Look at all the room that Vic has to go with. And, and in the red zone, that's where Vic becomes so uh, dangerous. You saw young Kim in the Seattle tournament make Vic look like a superstar on the ground with his legs. And you're seeing it here today from SC, really making like this Mike Vic look like a smart pick on his roster. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, taking 334 off the clock. And now Poison, your guy, Kiss of trailing death. by the kiss of death. Three touchdowns. You know who's happy? Tori. Tori in the front row, cheering on eight. Uh, SC, his, his girlfriend in the front row. She's happy. High point to Dallas Clark, takes it to the 45. You know, most of our competitors from California. We have B guard in our first match. He was from Utah. But SC making the long trip from San Antonio, Good Texas. Good heat. Yeah, he's got no answer right now to pick up some of these, these blitzes. Good coverage right here. You're going to see overload blitz. We're going to play mono on mono right here. Man on man coverage right here. One on one pressure off that right edge. Too much. Yeah, Marcus Golden getting in there and can't find Cooks on the sideline. That's going to bring up a big third and 17. We're in the First round, game number three. We got Scheman and GGG coming up next. Wilson throws a pass and it's almost picked off 
by DRC. Yeah, I, I like the idea right there. He went to the corner. He tried to sneak it in before the, the outside uh, uh, secondary player could break down on the ball. Uh, unfortunately, just didn't sneak it in time. Right here, you see, oh, he almost got in there with Dallas Clark, but another big drop right there. Yeah, Mine could have gone deep to Julio on the left side. Fourth and 17. Wilson, got to get rid of it. Beautiful. Play. And he finds Reese. Big fourth down conversion to move the chains, and he will go the hurry up. That was a big play. He's smart rider. We call that a dragon route in the community. It's not a drag, it's not an in, so it's a drag in. It's like a combination of the two. Smart route set to get to the first down. Hangs in the pocket, delivers a strike for the first down. Big play. Bunch to the left. Wilson, here heat. comes the heat. And Golden has caused a lot of problems. Well, I mean, as he was saying, he can bring pressure right and he can bring pressure left from this one formation. He's been primarily bringing up the right edge, but right there he changes it up. He sneaks a blitz in off the left side and he's able to generate a nice little uh, pressure to force an incomplete pass on first down. Marcus Golden just his 65 overall silver item. But making a big impact. Wilson taken down and there is Williams. Yeah, and here's what I'm liking from what, what I'm seeing here from his defense. Watch this. Pressure off the right edge, but then he has a backside defensive lineman. Looks like on a spy, or he might have broke free on a block shed there. And what you do is you push the right stick in on the controller, and that will send the closest defender in the vicinity of the quarterback and have them rush the quarterback. So we call this uh, releasing the hound, Scott, right? That, this is how you get it done, and it's a great job right now from SC. Third and 14 as we start the fourth quarter. Trailing by three scores like he's gonna is bring Poison. Gonna bring the noise here. Oh, yeah. Got to pick it up, throws it quickly, and Cooks still on his feet to the 22-yard line. Yeah, right. Uh, you see SC getting a little aggressive here on the defense side of the ball. Starts to play a little more uh, cover zero, more aggressive style of coverage. But right there, good conversion for Poison. Wilson checks it down. Boy. Could not hold on to it, and that was a danger zone. Yeah, and four minutes and 38 seconds remain in this fourth quarter. Really need to get a touchdown here if you're poisoned, if you want to have a shot uh, in the closing minutes of this game. Poison trailing by three scores. Has the ball at the 22. Needs a quick score. Oh, boy. And it's picked. And will they catch him? They will. Wow. Went to the well one too many times right there. We, we saw a couple of plays earlier in the game. Uh, the dropped interception, but right here, quick little user play. Look at that play. He jumped, he went about five yards past the curl to Marcel Reese, and then he clamps down on it once he sees that that's the only option. He makes the big user play that might help seal this victory. Let me give you three players here on the defensive side for SC. Marcus Golden, he's a silver. Jordan Williams is a bronze. We've seen a couple sacks from him. And then the bronze Eric Pinkins Stunned. comes up Pinkins with the interception. Stunned. Everybody thinks you gotta have the elite, you gotta load your team up, but Pinkins, 10 cap value. Incredible performance out of some of these lower items. Look at Vic, he's evading. I mean, that's what it's all about. Beautiful, touch. And McCaffrey, he'll walk into the end zone. And it's a woodshed match just like that. I'll tell you what, I want everybody else in this tournament to be put on notice right now. This guy is playing phenomenal. He is playing like he can win this entire series. Take a look at this. Vic, once again, we're going to need someone to be able to step up and contain Vic in, th in this game. Because right now, that's the difference in this one. Poison has been able to generate pressure. He's been able to force the quarterback out of the pocket. But too much speed from Vic. Too much ability to stretch the defense horizontally. And he's just making plays out on the field for him. Well, he talked about how much that 109 cap value from Vic put some pressure on your lineup, but he's had some players really step up, and now it's 31 to 3. Someone stopped the fight. Yeah, well, listen, I think it's the, what's really important is what you said there. You, you have Vic, and then that makes you have guys on your roster like the Marcus Gold, the Jordan Williams, and the Eric Pinkins. Uh, and that's where you need to find the value, and he most certainly has because those three guys, those are some, have made some of the biggest plays in this game. Uh, so he's certainly really uh, using his entire cap value, his entire roster to uh, his uh, uh, advantage here. So this is game number three of the quarterfinals. And it's just no doubt. 
You a Bubba Sparks fan? You remember Bubba Sparks? Sparks from back in the mud, right? Get ugly <laughs> up in here. <laughs> Up right. in here. Well, this is why you have an Odell on your roster right here. He's able to get those animations that most other guys don't because of his catch ability. Uh, and right there, Odell making a huge play on the outside. Michael Vick goes back to work, and Deshaun Jackson, uh-oh! Goes for a ride to the 41-yard line. Vick, 14 of 17. Yeah, we're gonna, definitely going to need to get an update from Joe Fan about what music he is listening <laughs> because he is bobbing his head. I mean, it might have something to do with it. He's winning 31 to 3, but you still need to know what he's listening to. Yeah, whatever he's listening to is, is on fire right now. 31 to 3, and we still got three more minutes to go. Hey, run the ball here, right? Look some more time off his clock. It's like that scene in Gladiator. Are you going to show mercy? Never. No. Savage. No. Completely See, savage. Th that's the difference between you and I, right? Or just Let's us go. being up here in general. <laughs> we would just knee it out. It would be a gentleman's game. But no, these guys, they're just going full hey, bore here. Just hey. pedal to the metal. Second and nine. Two. Thirty to go. No will go to the running game. Shakes one. And then every player on Poison's defense makes the tech. <laughs> all of them. You needed all of them. Marcel Reese. Been playing big today uh, on both sides of the ball. There's two Marcel Reese's now at the two-minute warning. So third and 12. Ball at the 43. And SC is enjoying a 28-point lead. And Reese gets absolutely blown up. What's the most you ever lost by in a competitive match? I think I lost a problem two or three years ago, probably by 50. I'm not kidding. It was not good. And it was on a stream, and everyone saw it, and it was bad. It mm. feels bad, man. I appreciate the honesty. You're in the trust tree. <laughs> yeah. You're in the trust tree with me. We're all there. in the trust tree here. So this will be a 55-yarder by your guy, Goskowski. Yep. And the kick is up, and it is good. Salt officially in the wound. Yeah, you put the points up on the scoreboard. You come here, though, you, you got to expect that that's what's going to happen in this matchup. You're going to get the best from your opponent on every possession. He still has some timeouts. You know, you, that's why he's, he's trying to put more points up on the board. He worked, he, we saw a little bit of gun split close there. He hadn't used that uh, in the, the previous drives in this game. So maybe he's trying to work some things out as he faces his next matchup, whether it's between Scheman or, or Niners. Yeah. GGG and Scheming coming up next. And you mentioned the amount of formations that SC has used. All of them. Hard to prepare for. I'm really impressed also with this Bear defense. Uh, what's really great about these is the Bear front uh, is it stacks a lot of defenders near the line of scrimmage. And when you stack defenders near the line of scrimmage, that makes it much easier to generate pressure off the edges because the, the, the line of scrimmage is so loaded uh, with defenders. Now the weakness of it is can you attack it vertically? We saw some of the, the holes uh, in Monsa's uh, defense early in that game, in our first game, the deep middle of the scene. So does anyone else in this team tournament recognize those things? And how do they attack it in the next matchup against SC? So Poison basically playing for pride right now. Has yet to find pay dirt, trailing 34 to three. Gets rid of it quickly, Cooks. And he'll pick up four. Yeah, and it's important thing to, to point out for, for Poison coming here competing. He, he's uh, made the jump for, uh, to become a professional Madden player. Uh, as we said earlier, he is a personal trainer in his nine to five world. Uh, cut hours to, to get here today. He is ranked number 67th in the Madden Championship Series standing. So uh, he certainly has shown uh, in, in tournaments, getting those serious points, that he is a big time player. Uh, so being ranked 67th in the world is not bad. No. I think you see the difference, though, between that upper echelon of Madden players and Dallas Clark. Hauls it in at the 47 and plus territory. But it's really those four interceptions by Russell Wilson that has sealed his fate today. Yeah, and I think he, he hung in that deuce close a little long. You know, it wasn't really working for him. Uh, he had that first drive where he got the field goal. And Cooks gets his swerve on, but can't hang on. Yeah, and he had that first drive where he got the field goal. 
uh, but he was never really able to get into a rhythm uh, under center because so much pressure was coming after him. Now he's in, the, in a shotgun set. He's got more time to, to diagnose the blitz, more time to hang in the pocket, find an open receiver. So maybe a little bit, little bit too late here for him, though. If you're playing this game online, have you conceded? No, never. Never, never concede? Never, never concede, ever. I'm Can't with you, it. man. That's, 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 that's my mindset. Can't do I'll it. I'll sit there and take my whipping. Always something to learn in a loss, Scott. And Russell Wilson will slide to the 29. Has three timeouts. Why well, use them? Why well, use them, right? Let's take one last shot here to the end zone. I tell you what, Poison was very confident yesterday and even this morning. And Larry Fitzgerald. At least you can say you made the trip and you got a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, he, he has every reason to be confident. He is a great player. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I think he just ran up against uh, someone that we haven't really given a, enough respect to in sure. this tournament. Uh, SC has really played a flawless game. Uh, and, and again, I would love to just point out the, the Michael Vick factor. Uh, that's really the difference in this one. Poison never was really able to contain him throughout this game. Uh, and, and SC took advantage of Vick and his mobility. And he will come out in the victory formation, and that's how this one will end. So game number three will go to SC, and he'll face the winner of Schemen in GGG, which is our game coming up next. And a little good sportsmanship there. It's a tough one to take for Poison. It is. I, he comes in this one anticipating a good performance, a great performance, but he runs into a great ball, ball player in SC who just outplayed him from on defense, on offense. Every phase of the game he had locked up, and uh, SC's moving on, Poison's going home. They say don't mess with Texas. And he's come all the way from San Antonio, and he's put this bracket on notice. And I tell you what, we've had a, we had a kind of a blowout in the first one, a good game in the second one, what are you expecting coming up next? Listen, I, I fully anticipate Scheming to come out hot. I want to see how does Niners, how does he handle it? He says he feels like he's got an uh, opportunity to win. He's a, a Marine, so thank you for your service. Yeah. Uh, 2010, 2015, but it's going to be a big game between those two as well. well. I tell you what, let's get into the mind of the winner. Let's go to Joe Fan. Yeah, he came in as the underdog, but won in decisive fashion, 34-10 the final. I'm with Derek, better known as SC. A gigantic victory for you. You didn't feel like the underdog, did you? No, I don't feel like the underdog this tournament. I feel like I should be one of the favorites. What makes you one of the favorites? I mean, you show right there, not only with Mike Vick on offense, but defensively, you didn't give up a touchdown until the last seconds. What makes your game so impressive? I just make the right reads. What are you listening to? I mean, I, you see you bobbing and weaving like, throughout the game. You got your swag going. So what are, you, what are you jamming to? I got my Meek Mill playlist going, so... Got to be bobbing and weaving. All right, and you got Mike Vick on your offense. It's an expensive guy to get, but why was it so important for you to have him leading your offense? I feel like the defense has to not only play the pass, but they have to put a spy on him. And obviously, he didn't put a spy that one time. I got a touchdown, so it's another per another thing they got to worry about. You got the winner of Scheming and Nine. Are you going to watch that game coming up? Yeah, I'll, de I'll definitely be watching that game. All right, best of luck to you in the semis. That's SC. He's going to the semis to face the winner of Scheming and Niner. That's coming up next. Scott and Gibbs, back to you. Thank you so much, Joe.